Hi, I just want to make a quick video um, about the importance of, of the proclamation of the gospel. There's, there's many out there who want to kind of water down the gospel uh, for sake of popularity or sake of avoiding confrontation or um, even for the sake of just not believing uh, what the real gospel is. And so the, the problem with this, uh, aside from all those, those things like popularity that people don't want to lose, the, the reason this is so important is because it takes away the foundation of the gospel. And what I'm talking about is the wrath of God. The wrath of God is central to the gospel. The wrath of God is central. It is the foundation to the preaching of repentance and forgiveness of sins. If there, if there is no wrath of God, okay, there's no wrath of God. There's no need for Jesus to come. There is no need for repentance. There is no need for trying to serve God because there's no punishment. There is no justice. God is not a just God. And so without wrath, there's no gospel. There is no good news if there is no bad news. The only good news is, is that there is no bad news. <laughs> and so, the wrath of God is central to the proclamation of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Now, if, if you think that, if, if popularity is important to you, if the glory of man is important to you, if uh, avoiding confrontation is important to you, then you need to really look at your priorities. You need to see and you need to ask yourself, why is popularity so important? Why do I want to avoid confrontation? Paul said right, right in the beginning of Romans, Romans is a great book, and just as you start reading it, uh, Romans 1, 18, I believe, says the wrath of God is revealed against all unrighteousness. So the wrath of God is central to all of Paul's writings. Um, that there is bad news. Jesus came preaching repentance. Jesus did not come preaching, um, come to me, be my best friend. He didn't come saying, um, I can make your life better. Uh, you can have happiness. You can have a good marriage. Um, you need to come to Jesus because you need forgiveness of sins, which is true. But when, when we leave out the wrath of God, we have no clue what forgiveness of sins means. What's, why do I need forgiveness of sins? What's the problem with sin? Why do I need forgiveness? Period. Um, so the wrath of God is so important. So important. And I plead with you. I plead. Preach the full counsel of God. Don't water down the gospel to some multicultural message of unity. That's disgusting. And it saddens me that I see so many so many professing Christians to refuse to talk about God's wrath, God's hatred. God is angry with the wicked every day. You have to preach the wrath of God or you have not set the need for the good news, for the gospel of Jesus Christ. So I urge you, examine yourselves. Why won't you talk about God's wrath? Why, do you, why are you ashamed of the gospel? Romans 1.16 For I, I am not ashamed of the gospel. For it is the power to life. I urge you, please, don't worry about popularity. Don't worry about confrontation of friends. That isn't to say that you should seek confrontation. But let me tell you, the early church, they were not popular. The early church was persecuted for their belief by their, by their own people, the Jews. So I, I plead, study this. Preach it. There is power in it. There is no... It doesn't make sense to anyone, believing or unbelieving, that there's a gospel of good news when there is no wrath. If there's no wrath, there's no good news. There's no forgiveness. We don't need forgiveness if there is no wrath. Don't be ashamed. The wrath of God abides on those who are not in Christ, and we must 
We must proclaim that. We have to. There, there is no choice. There's no option. You have to preach that. So I urge you, if you profess to be a Christian, examine yourselves. Ask God to give you the understanding, the will, to want to talk about that, the boldness to proclaim that. And I assure you, if you do that sincerely, He'll give that to you. He promises that. It may not be immediate. But I, I really hope, if you've watched this, that you didn't push it aside and you didn't say, that's radical, that's fundamental. No, this is central to Christianity. Christianity, following Jesus, is fleeing God's wrath. It's standing behind Jesus Christ while the wrath of God is put on Him. That is Christianity, folks. If you don't believe that, don't understand Christianity. Thank you.